You're not going to I sit here and no assault me, lady I never met. I am don't so call my name because I don't know what book you're reading, and, and I don't care. This is going to be one of those well, meetings y'all you know never seen before. That's inappropriate. And I have First Amendment rights as well. Now, if someone wants to talk about what's going on in this city and not someone's personal business, the hearing of the public is now open. Mayor Monique Owens sounding off on residents supporting council member Harvey Curley. Here's a background that led to this boiling point. Owens says Curley assaulted her back in June at the cruising Gratiot event. She's seeking a personal protection order. Curley denies the allegation. I'm here in support of Councilman Curley. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop you no, right no, there. No. Or we're gonna we're gonna stop the council meeting because I'm not gonna let you speak on something that has to do with a police. But the you police don't even know and what I was going to say. Mayor, you I had a letter no speak. idea what I was going to say. Well, I'm a let I'm a let her speak, but I'm okay. Hold on. You're gonna have order. But if you're speaking on something that has to do with something that has to do with a police report, we're gonna respect the people that's in that. Point of order, Mr. Albright, regarding in, uh, interruption of Someone speaking in. And I'm going to have a point of order and I'm going to talk over you. This is going to be one of those well, meetings I've never seen before. You're not going to disrespect people that have you things hey, going without on. knowing what I was going to hey, say. Okay, well, talk I, about public things. She can talk about public, public things, whatever. but I'm giving her a warning, just like we have always give people right. warnings before they spoke on certain things. That's inappropriate. And I have First Amendment rights as well. I would like to have our city attorney uh, give the opinion about people coming up and speaking uh, um, at the hearing of the public, if you could do that. Uh, city Attorney. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of Council. Uh, members of the public have a right to address uh, the City Council, or they may speak individually about a member of the Council as well. But I also have my First Amendment right. And if you're saying something out of line as my First Amendment right, whether a mayor or not a mayor, I'm going to speak. I think it's ridiculous that you're now in this position of defending yourself against really what I consider to be outrageous claims. You're not going to I sit here so and stop. assault me, lady I never met. I am don't so call my name because I don't know what book you're reading and, and I don't care. If I am a person, a victim, you're not going to use that platform to re-victimize anyone. And no one in this audience is going to do that. Point to no order. woman and to no person. Anyone else would like to speak? At this time, if there is a police report out or something that you've seen, you let that person and that victim and that person who's fighting that deal with the courts. You don't use that platform to victimize a person that felt like it was assaulted or fearful of their life. You don't use that platform for that. Nobody will. No one. As long as I'm mayor, you don't use that platform to re-victimize anyone, whether it's a guy, woman, or anybody. That is not the place. Now, if someone wants to talk about what's going on in this city and not someone's personal business, the hearing of the public is now open. This is ridiculous. There's no reason for this. We have First Amendment rights. Part of our First Amendment right clearly states we have the right to redress our government without fear of reprisal or retaliation. If you can't take the criticism, you should not be mayor. Enough is enough. This you is a personal mean, matter. It's not about criticizing. You can criticize my policy. Stop you stop it. it. Let's get people to you you stop violating it. You're violating my first And you're violating right. my rights as a person that can you call the police and right. use the police so department the for my rights. If someone chooses to call the you police, that is their right. Charter. You don't victimize them for that. Line. You are out of line. You are out of line. You are out of line. You're out of Point line. of order. You are out of line. Point of order. You are out of line. You are out of line. Now, do you want to stand there and talk about your cats and your dogs in the community, but you won't talk about you don't me? Don't interfere. Okay. With my free speech. And you don't, don't interfere with my to free criticize speech. You don't one get to with that one minute fear of reprisal or what else do you want to talk about? Would you like the news crew to come out? The news already comes out. 
That's it. I guess we're done. Thank you very much for Go ahead. being this city. We'll take a 10 minute recess. Bye. Okay. I don't think that was the place to re-victimize me, to use that as a place of mockery. And I won't let them do that to anyone. But council members say that's not the point. That's why they all walked out. The only way we could end the meeting is by not having a quorum and leaving. So you can never say the mayor disappointed you. You all disappoint me. East Point's mayor putting her constituents on blast. So don't blame the mayor for your city. Blame yourself because it's deep rooted. Mayor Monique Owens closed the January 17th council meeting with a 15-minute fireworks-filled finale, Owens making it clear she's sick of taking unfair criticism for what residents call a rise in crime. The same rules and the standards apply to different people. That's not love. I had someone up here that actually got in my face, and I had to make a police report, put a PPO out on that person. If you can't respect the people that lead your community, you expect people to respect your property, respect your car, respect your families, and you can't even respect mine. This afternoon, Mayor Owens was arraigned on a charge of false pretenses, a five-year felony, accused of lying on a COVID relief application in 2020 and receiving a $10,000 CARES Act grant from Macomb County. The charges come about as a result of obtaining these funds uh, on the application process as well as um, some of the information that was provided that wasn't true. If she is ended up being found guilty on a five-year felony, uh, what do you think should happen to her as, as mayor? She needs to be removed, simple as that. And tonight, in honor of Black History Month, 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom shows us how she's making a lasting difference in the world. East Point, Michigan, its motto, the gateway to Macomb County, a family town. But now, it can also be known as the city that has done something it had never done before. I will be going to Southwest. It reminds me how I have to continuously be humble and work hard for not only for me to just be the first, but create the second, third, and fourth. I'm making sure that people see that we can do the job. Somebody has to go first.